Welcome back to Let's Play Nanaloo. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Nineteen, twenty, and kaboom! Plant ore trees. Two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Now they've caught up with each other. The uh, water and res water and yellow cube mineral generation. Okay, I've got one out of eight down. See that's. That side's the biggest threat. They're heading towards a big threat, too. Oh, that side's almost dealt with. I can't believe it. Are they actually doing good? Because I'm being a little more strategic with my resources and I'm just spamming war trees without watching my own defenses. That's what I did the first time, was I just spammed war trees. Thank you. 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Goodness, they almost leveled a tree with one shot. There are 16 war trees. Yeah, it's, it's, I will retract one of my earlier statements. Uh, it's difficult to balance tower defense because once either team, yours or the enemy, begins to snowball, it can, it'll be a curb stomp in either direction. Kind of the same problem with a League of Legends match is once a snowball starts, the other team will always feel kind of useless because it's like trying to stop a train once it starts moving. I'm cheerful about it now since the snowball is in my favor. It's also because I'm generating, this time I put resource generation above all else, so I'm generating trees fast enough. count of how many war trees I have, but my creeps are swarming the map like there's no tomorrow. Oh, top's down. Well, not top. Uh, diagonal is down. That's... That one's down, that one's down. The four compass points are down. Now the diagonal... I, I twist my head because I try to look at the map in a straight up and down grid. The diagonals are down, now the compass points are all that room. I'm sorry, I've got to stare at that. There's an army heading up there. Oof. This side needs some defense. Because I can't neglect the defense trees. Getting too confident, getting overconfident, is what cost me last time. But see, now I'm slowing down their rate of production, which is what puts the snowball back in my favor. As long as I can't touch their rate of production, well, it's, you know, they just keep growing faster and faster. Once I can contest their production rate, then naturally it tilts back in my favor. As long as I can keep holding holding that contest over the production rate. <laughs> There's so many war trays. My little army is heading that way. Yeah, there's only the two forests left, the 11 and the 6 over there. I really like how the user interface does the uh, does that. See, the trees are still generating. Yes, let's just throw four, <laughs> four more war trees. It still says 11, that's interesting. So it doesn't keep a dynamic count. It just counts what it thinks should be there. Oh, I win. Woohoo! I only lost seven trees, too. That's actually pretty good. So, uh, that is Nanalo. I really like it. It's fun. Aside from the slight rant you got about curb stomps uh and uh it won the second place in the 2015 indie make indie game making contest they uh 
the, the note that the judges gave was it per perfectly embodied this year's theme of growth. I did not know the theme was growth, but that explains Symbiote and Omega Care and I both having growth themes involved, uh, as well as the other contestants that I haven't done recordings on. But I uh, really enjoyed playing it. Thank you for the people that made it, and thank you for watching as well, if, you, if anybody is actually watching this. But uh, thanks, and see you next time.